So we're going to solve this separable differential equation uh, as a worked example. Uh, this one is a little bit different than the one in one of my, my other videos. Uh, this one involves exponential functions. And in the past, um, when I've had exams that had this kind of an equation on it, um, my students tended to forget some of the log and exponential rules and how they were allowed to apply. Uh, and so they messed up the algebra and they really didn't get to the calculus part at all. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to go through this example and kind of, again, jog the memory about what exponential rules can and cannot apply in a circumstance like this. Um, and then we'll finish solving the problem with our calculus skills. So the first thing that we want to remember about this is that when we have an equation that has x and y in the exponent of the e, the simplest way to, to separate these is to apply exponential rules. Um, since we're adding things in the exponent, adding things in the exponent is equivalent to multiplying with the same base. So e to the x plus 2y is the same as e to the x times e to the 2y. And same thing for this one. I can remove the 2y from the first e and multiply it by a second e with this exponent. So remember our exponential rules, same base, you add the exponents. So we're doing the opposite here. Now what we want to do from here is then we want to factor out the common e. So we want to have out front e to the 2y and then remove those from inside our expression. So here we were able now on the right side of the equation to separate the e's with the x's from the e with the y. And now we can move things around. We're going to multiply both sides of the equation by dx and we're going to divide by e to the 2y. And when we divide by e to the 2y, that is the same thing as multiplying by e to the negative 2y, negative 2y, dy. And then the other side of the equation becomes e to the x minus 4 e to the 3x dx. And so now everything is separated and we can easily integrate. So we're going to take this and we're going to apply an integration in front of it. And we're going to take this guy and we're going to apply an integration in front of it. Now integrating e to the negative 2y of course is negative one-half e to the negative 2y. And on the other side of the equation, e to the x antiderivative is e to the x. And 4 e to the 3x becomes 4 thirds e to the 3x plus a constant of integration. Now, if I want to simplify a little bit further, I'm going to multiply by negative 2. If I want to solve for y, for instance, multiplying by negative 2 will get rid of my 1 half. So I still have this. But then my other side of the equation, negative 2 times this will become 8 thirds e to the 3x minus 2 e to the x. And then the constant c times negative 2 is, if, since we don't know what c is, it's just another constant. Now if I log both sides to get rid of the e on this side of the equation, I need to keep in mind that logs do not distribute through terms. I can cancel the logs, or I can cancel, use e canceling the log only if it's one term on one side and one term on the other side. But 
uh, in this problem I have multiple terms so no canceling can go on on the right side of the equation it will only apply on the left side and so then this side of the equation will become log of 8 thirds e to the 3x minus 2 e to the x plus d and then if I want to solve for y a little bit further then I would divide everything by negative 2 so y would become negative 1 half log of all the same stuff um, and of course I could rewrite this expression as uh, a power inside the log and the negative one half then will take the expression all of this and put it in the denominator underneath the radical and again I can't distribute powers through terms so I can't take the square root of each one of these terms separately I can't distribute logs through terms um, so I can't cancel the e's in any of these cases I just end up with this messy expression if I want to solve for y